October the 1st. Looks like the cows are all still in the field for the most part. I'm gonna go out and do some fencing, some electric fencing, but it's raining a little bit harder and I wanna get wet with, you know? So I'll go back here and see what I can get into in the shed for a while, I guess. Maybe it'll slack off. But it seems to be coming down good enough right now that we're gonna get wet. Well, y'all, since it's raining, we're trying to find somewhere to do with some of these parts that we got laying around. And so what do y'all do with your massive amounts of extra parts that you bought but never used? Well, this is the old refrigerator. Been back here forever. It doesn't work. And so we just throw stuff in it. And the wife came home with these. And I got to looking around that thinking. I said, I wonder if they'll fit. Sure enough, they fit. So this is Ford Parts. New Holland. Extra stuff. This is... Uh, 946 disc mine parts. We ain't figured out where the rest of them are going to be. And that's another turtle on top up there for the disc mine. But you, they were, her work was throwing these things in the trash because they didn't want them no more. You look these things up, they're like $40 a piece, $40, $50 a piece for these little bins. They go on like a, uh, a metal rack shelf for organizing stuff. So anyways, I don't know if this will hold up, but we're not planning on putting too much weight in here, but we re, that shelf is on its original spot. This one is just resting on top of the boxes. This is sitting on top of that. Of course, these probably stack anyways. Um, but then I stuck that one up there on top of those, and that gives me a place to put these things. That I don't have room for in other places. So if I don't like it, I can always change it. But since it's pouring down raining out there, and I was going to do some fencing, but since it's raining out there, this is what we're doing. I'm trying to find a place to put stuff. That's uh, all the parts there for the woods mower. And then I got all these baler tees I got to put somewhere. I got more baler tees. I don't know, I could probably stick them in these bins, but I'd rather just slide them down here on the bottom if they'll fit. But that's what we're doing at the moment, trying to figure out what to do with stuff. Since it's raining, we got a few more items in this box. We gotta find somewhere for them to live. But you know, when you got stuff like this, let's see, where's it at? Not that bag. This one right here, this bag right here, that's $125 right there. It just lays around in here. It's a hundred twenty-five dollar part for the disc mine. That's the that's the uh, brake thing that goes on top of the shoe, goes under the shoe. So, you know, literally hundreds of thousands, thousands of dollars worth of stuff just laying around. You know, and you got to find a place to put it, so that, and hopefully you can find it when you need it. But anyways, that's what we're doing right now. Trying to find a place to put some stuff. So, this might work. As long as we don't forget about it. Alright, yo. Well, Dad was out spraying a while ago before it started raining. And he quite literally run the wheel off this trailer. So now he's putting some bearings back in it. Put it back on here. Because he pulled it back in the shed here about a week or so ago. And I went to move it and the wheel fell off. So he says he had the bearing in there. And he's going back to look for the second bearing. And maybe put it back together if he can find it. Well, we had a flat tire on the zero turn. Went to take the wheel off. And one of the 
one of the bolts went to spinning. Took a grinder, cut through it, cut through the lug nut to get it off. Now just trying to figure out how, what to do next. And how to take it off and what we're going to do after that. Or we just put it back on the three lug nuts and call it a day. But anyways, that's what we're doing this evening. Getting dark on us, time to go home. Seven o'clock now. So, that's what we're doing this evening. Tearing up stuff. Do a little lawn mowing this evening. Moving the hay wagons out of the way for him. As soon as he gets done with that spot, we'll put the hay wagons back. He already had a motor. All up down around, all up down the driveway. Got to mow over in front of the barn yet. But as soon as he gets done with that, we'll go for our day wagons back. hay bales for decorations they're all about hay bales for decorations so she bought a neighbor's hay bales although I cannot move that tire by hand right now hey don't throw stuff at me buy three hay bales all right, you gotta get down, dude. That'll be the extent of our hay bale operation for the uh, for the year. Our our square bale operation for the year, as we don't use them normally. This tractor in front of me is a Ford forty six ten, just like our little loader, except this one came with a cab. That little tractor right there used to have a loader on it. it was probably the first one I ever saw that had a cab. Well, y'all, this morning, lady came by and got three hay bales. Dad loaded it up for her. So, we had another fella that wanted 10, but he, uh, Pretty much flaked on me. Didn't return no messages or nothing like that. So I guess his bales are going up for sale. So I guess I got about 30 more. Plus the uh, 20 that somebody else said they wanted. And another 30 that somebody else said they wanted. So we'll see what happens with them. I guess if they don't get a hold of me flake on me I guess well those will go up for sale too but you know fella you know everybody right now is trying to donate hay and send it down to the Carolinas and everything and that's all good and dandy and I'd love to do that but those 200 bales in that shed after we pay for the tractor, pretty much what dad's going to have to live on for the rest of the year. Um, and it ain't going to be a lot. We probably have to still end up borrowing money to get through the end of the year. Or get into next year. So, I'm trying to avoid that. So 
trying to avoid that. But that's what might happen. Let's hope not. I was look around, go look for dad, see where he find, where he's at too. Got off too. Over the longhorn. They're making short work of that field. You see the difference already, of course. You can see through the briars now versus before. So we're gonna have to go bush hog that one next. But right now, oh, I don't wanna run an electric fence. Dad's down here bush hogging around the pond, knocking all the weeds down. He's over on the other side right now. Knock all the weeds down around the pond. Make it look better. morning y'all October the 5th we're finally getting around to fixing this ball bar fence so we can put the cows out here it's in worse shape than we thought it was but that's because we didn't bother to look at it very well but now we're looking at it but we got to go from here to that T post up there so and we should have most of this completed here comes here comes dad this right here was the big hole that we haven't done yet basically there's no wire all the way up there so everything walks right through it. We're going to just put a temporary electric fence, but everybody, we started fixing all that ball bar down through there. So we're just going to put it back the way it was supposed to be. But then from here up, it's all electric fence. And we need to build a new fence up through there. That's where we clear all the trees out last winter up through there all the bushes and trees and stuff so now we need a new fence up through there and we could take this electric fence back out and then it's electric fence all around the rest of it we got that wire up got it working um we got it connected back together we gotta go back and jump in the truck because everybody wants to go to Remington to see the cows get milked on the big carousel. So we'll catch we'll catch y'all on the other end of that. portion of the uh, farmyard here it's been over should have been mowed like a couple weeks ago but didn't get done but catch y'all tomorrow well we're sitting here playing with our camera a little bit and we got it to brighten up we had it on 60 frames for per minute or whatever and it doesn't translate light very good when the video camera's on. Um, we just changed that. 
And it seems to translate light a whole lot better now on 30 frames per second. Oh yeah. See, that's 60 frames per second. And that's 30 frames per second. Major difference. Huh. Okay. Well, you can actually see something. All right, y'all. Catch you later. Well, we were coming out the driveway, and one of the cans was out. Well, he jumped back through the wire, so we had to tighten the wire up. I guess we better check it in the morning. Hey, y'all. Like and subscribe. Comment. Everything we need to do to grow this channel. We really like to grow this channel. So, keep on keeping on. Headings Farm. Catch you later.